want to give back to the community. I had this in plan for a couple months, and uh, just a list of things I had uh, on my radar doing. I've been doing community service for uh, a couple months now, so just feel good doing it. Uh, fortunate enough to get the opportunity to do it. So yeah, we have Roy's Grill with it, my uncle's uh, restaurant, and uh, just getting back to the community. Yeah. How does it feel to be able to give back to the community? You know? I mean, like growing up, I didn't see a lot of dudes come through Irmo giving back. Uh, so that's probably like one of the things in my, I want to say bucket list, but one of my goals, you know, when I was fortunate enough and in a position to do it, just to come back to Irmo and give back and uh, cement my legacy um, on the field and off the field. Uh, and how, do you, how are you able to use NIL to fulfill that? Uh, the thing about NIL, so it's a lot of uh, stigmas around NIL. Like they just think it's about like spending money and uh, the athletes using it for wrong reasons. But NIL is a, uh, it helps out too, you know. Um, I'm fortunate enough to help others around me, and uh, NIL, it's just it's just a good thing. So it just helped me give back to the community and uh, make sure I'm good. Yeah. A handful of guys on the team over the years who have done events like this. Yeah. Is it kind of a part of the culture within the team of guys who yeah. want to do stuff like this? Yeah, I remember uh, as a freshman, I remember carrying on Joyner. He used to do a lot of events like this, and uh, that kind of inspired me, and I kind of reached out to him and just learned how to just – give back to the community so he kind of gave me some tips and some um, some uh, like a guide to do it and uh, I've been kind of like following his steps yeah and why, why Thanksgiving big turkey fan or uh, Thanksgiving like growing up just just a family holiday for me just that's when like my brothers and uh, I got four older brothers so that's when we all used to just come together and just have the best memories so Thanksgiving and I just want to do a turkey job that's like a, a big thing for me yeah Family football game, always part of that? Yeah, yeah, a little family football game in the backyard, uh, no refs, so things got a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your top Thanksgiving side? Uh, macaroni for sure. Good macaroni, that's all you need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's real greedy. Yeah. I like that. Right there. What's your yep. message to the people of South Carolina yeah, this fun. Thanksgiving? Uh, have a great Thanksgiving. Um, just uh, don't take nothing for granted, man. Uh, enjoy the little moments. Spend some time with family. You never know when it could be your last day, last year. So just have a good time with your family all the time and uh, be positive. When you're running, is your family your gas? Yeah, always, always. You know, uh, whenever I'm playing games and stuff, when times get tough, I always think about my brothers. Uh, you know, I, Coach Beamer sometimes tells us to dedicate games to our family, and I always dedicate my games to my brothers and my uh, my mom my dad, but mainly my brothers for sure. So, like, when times get tough and we're going through a hard time, I, I depend on them, rely on them. You're never without any motivation. Yeah, never, never. Uh, do you talk to the Lord? <laughs> Always, every every game, every day. Uh, my mom, she's uh, super religious, and she kind of just poured that into me growing up, and uh, I, 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 that's something I live through. That lives through me every day. Baptist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I believe you love. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nick, uh, what, what has the experience been like today? Just actually being able to get out here and meet people in the community, and actually kind of literally give away the turkeys, sign some autographs. How has it been, I guess? It's been great, man. It's been fun uh, seeing the little kids. Uh, me and my uncle set this up and uh, signing some autographs. It's always a good time. It's always a good thing giving back, man. Uh, these kids are going to remember this moment. They're going to have a good Thanksgiving. And uh, it just warms my heart knowing that I was able to be a part of that. Obviously, a big game Saturday, too. Yeah. In this state of South Carolina, it means everything. How is it? How just exciting has it been to play in this rivalry game? And how excited are you for Saturday? Uh, it's been fun playing in this rivalry. Um, the last two to three years, uh, you know, it's been a close game uh, going back to 2022 when we won by one point. Last year, uh, we lost, but it wasn't by that much. And uh, this year is probably like the the biggest Clemson versus Carolina game in the last maybe decade or so. Uh, we both got like playoff hopes and uh, it's going to be an elite matchup. You know, both teams are good, good winning records. So it's going to be fun. Is there a lady wearing a Clemson shirt? Yeah, there was. It was. So you're even giving away to yeah. a Clemson fan. I, I, <laughs> hey, got to support my, uh, my enemies off, uh, on the field. Um, but even though she's a Clemson fan, gotta show love always, always, yeah. <laughs>